testing out some things. Let's see, testing out some lighting. Both lights are on. I'm testing out lights, no big deal. Oh, no, 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 you're going fine, you're fine, you're fine. I'm testing lights, I'm testing lighting. People are actually tuning in. Any other time, I'm doing a live. Like, no one's showing up, but now people showing up. But you know what? I got something for you. So um, I'm working on, I'm creating my new altar. Um, I have a new, like, a work altar space. Like, I moved here a couple years ago, actually a couple months ago, and I haven't gotten it together, so I'm just trying to, like, get my lighting together. So this here is the white LED light. This is both LED lights. This is, oh, gosh, that's the... Yeah, this is just the black mini ring light by itself. But if you are paying attention, I am going to do a quick reading. And let's see what we got here. Everyone, hey, hey people. Hey, so nice for you to turn in. I'm gonna do a quick reading. I'm uh, doing my new uh, altar here. So let's see what we got. Uh, ooh, oh, well, okay. Two things that just popped out. Hello there. The Magician card. All right, so the Magician card. So if you are tuning in today at this moment, the, the Magician card is for you. The Magician, that means you are able to uh, you manifest whatever it is that you are trying to manifest. So this just popped out of my, uh, out of my deck. So the Magician card, that means um, you, are, you are capable. You have all of the power to create whatever it is that you need. Thank you. Okay, good. I'm glad you like readings. I, I figured since I'm going to go live and just to, you know, I'm testing out the lighting on my, my new work altar space. But look at this one. This is also another good card. This one came out. This is uh, the High Priestess. High Priestess also means, hey, Pippity Poppity Broody Broody Town. <laughs> I'm fixing my, uh, I'm creating my, my uh, I'm working on my workspace altar. And uh, so I'm setting up my new, uh, just a new place for my, for my lighting and, and my desk. And hey, lady! So I just, you know, I just turned, went live just to see what's going on. And lo and behold, people are like paying attention. So I'm like, oh shit, okay, I guess I gotta do a reading. So High Priestess is the other card that came up for anyone who needs it. High Priestess means that anything, that you have the secrets within you. Like whatever you're dealing with right now, if you feel like uh, something you can't really work out on your own. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. Um, if you're feeling like you can't, you can't totally know the answer, this means, this card says, yes, you do. You know the answer. The answer is within you. So let's see. Let me do a quick, uh, I wasn't planning to do a reading reading, but since y'all paid attention, I should. I feel like I should give y'all something. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I love this deck. This is the Lisa Sterl deck. Oh, oh. Okay, all right. So we got the world. The world you have everything that you need and this is a very positive uh reading tonight and i'm just uh, i'm coming from kind of a uh what would you call it a, a, a very optimistic place like no um uh, no no uh expectations kind of place so if you hear my, my husband's practicing guitar in the background oh you needed that high priestess yeah that's it let's see so let's see. So if anyone who just tuned in, I picked up the magician card, which means anything that you want to create is yours. You can make it. You have the power. High Priestess, you know you have the secrets within you. The world. The world is an awesome a card also. Um, everything is going in your favor. So if you happen to be tuning into this reading right now, it just basically means um, that hopefully this resonates with you. And if it does, you know, let me know. Um, so the world, the world is also a very positive card. And this is the Lisa Sterl Modern Witch Tarot deck. So the world is, it's, it's accomplishment. Everything you've come full circle, everything that you, uh, your wishes. Oh, look, and, and there's like these two, she's holding two staffs. And in, in the tarot deck, whenever you see, um, in, in like the Rider Waite decks, especially, uh, holding something in the hand means like a like a staff that means you are capable you are capable of doing creating things and here we have when i mentioned the uh the magician card there's like a staff here and the world has both so that means you have the world in your hands oh my god ten of cups ten of cups so this is a very very positive ah you applied for a job at a pizzeria and they did not call back 
I really wish I manifested that job. The, but you think sometimes what we don't always understand is that rejection is sometimes our protection. There might have been something at that pizzeria that you didn't like and you just didn't know. Or, and or, it could also mean that there is another position that is out there for you that you're going to like even more. And if you would have taken that p pizzeria job, you wouldn't have gotten it. So that's sometimes what happens in life. They were like, you know, I really wanted this p particular job. Exactly. Bippity Boppity Bruhita said that job might not be for you and sometimes we want something so bad and this happens with the relationships too you know like you know the guy that you're like I have to have this guy I have to have this guy but you really don't know what that guy would really be like you don't know what that pizzeria job would have been like you, you know the people could have been like really mean worked your ass off they might have been just really abusive so sometimes when we don't get what it is that we think that we want oh good I'm glad I could cheer you up because sometimes I remember like when I first graduated from high school, I was looking for a job and I was applying everywhere. And I even applied to, and I applied to McDonald's and then McDonald's didn't even call me back. And I was like, what? How can McDonald's, I'm like, really McDonald's didn't call me back? I mean, like that was in my mind, like that's the bottom of the barrel, you know, and my life, what, what's wrong with me that, that McDonald's won't even call me back for that job, you know? But I ended up getting a call back from a much better job. I got like an office job and that was like my first office job and I worked there that summer because I had just graduated from high school I think and then I also got the, and then they brought me back that next summer and it ended up I mean I'm sure I made two or three times more at that office job than I ever would have made at McDonald's so sometimes that thing that you don't get that you thought you wanted so badly wasn't for you and you don't know so sometimes rejection is actually protection so I'm glad I could cheer you up with that so uh, Ten of Cups, as I mentioned, now this is another happy card. I got happy cards tonight. This is great. Oh, oh, but you know what, though? Let me tell you. Um, for you, Stefan Sexy, this is the other card that I got. So the three that I had pulled just now, the official ones, the other two, like, fell out the deck. But we have the world, the Ten of Cups, which is, like, you know, happily ever after. There's a happy family. But for you, the other card you might really appreciate is Knight of Pentacles. So this means there is another job for you coming. Pentacles, a knight is movement. So a knight when in the a knight in the deck represents, I'm sorry, horses in a deck represent movement. Something is coming towards you, coming, something is coming. So even though you didn't get that pizzeria position, this means something else is coming. Knight, a knight of pentacles means there's work on its way to you. You just, so even though it's not here for you now, it just means that it's coming. And if you would have taken that pizzeria job, it might have, you might not have gotten uh, you might not have gotten the thing that you really wanted. And again, as I said, you know, sometimes rejection is our protection. So when you, uh, when something says no, then that means you have to keep looking because there's something else that is out there for you. You're not going to never work again. You're able-bodied and you're able to get that, uh, you're able to apply for that pizzeria job. If you didn't get it, that means that there is something else out there for you. And perhaps if you had gotten that pizzeria job, you wouldn't have went to that next level to look for that next thing. So now you'll be like, okay, well, what was I looking for? So what else is there? Okay, so the pizzeria thing didn't work. Then, all right, maybe I need to try something else. Like, you know, something at a hospital, or maybe there's something, there's a bookstore, or maybe there's some other, um, there's some other, job opportunity that you wouldn't have noticed because you were going out for the pizzeria job. So what this says for me, uh, Stefan Sexy, oh good, went and follow Bippity Boppity Bru oh, Bruheadia. <laughs> um, Knight of Pentacles means there is another job coming. It is on its way to you. The horse means movement. So, and it's yellow. Pentacles is money. Yellow is optimistic. So I want you to stay optimistic. I want you to not, you know, I, I'm hope I'm glad I could cheer you up with this reading because I want you to know that good times are coming. Money is coming. And that's, you know, that's what this pentacle represent. It represents coins. So, um, yeah. Yeah. So let's see for anyone else who just came, I have a really happy card reading and I was just testing out my lighting tonight cause I have some other things that I'm working on. But if you happen to be checking out this, uh, this reading, I just want you to know there's some good things coming. And this is basically, if you happen to tune into, so your bo your bonus, your benefit of checking my reading tonight is that I have all good news. So hopefully this will resonate with you. And if it does, please, please, please let me know. Yes, Brujita, yes. It's Bippity Boppity Brujita. Um, 
Let's see, so the first card, as I mentioned before, the first card was the magician to remind you that you are capable of creating. You are capable of manifesting whatever it is you want. You are not alone. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, killing it per usual. So uh, the magician means that you have all, everything that you need, you have it within you. So whether it's, you know, your brains, your capabilities, your skills, your network, it just means that you have to use your powers to make something happen. Don't leave it to chance. Maybe you need to do a candle. You know, you might need, you know, if, if, if those of you, I think most people who are into, you know, listening to me are into some kind of magic. So, you know, if you have a birthday candle, something really simple, do a birthday candle. Get like a little small candle, put it in a cup, with like a small cup, like a shot glass um, with uh, either salt or white, un well, uncooked rice. And then you you light the candle and you make your your intention. You you think about what kind of position you want and make sure to can think about think about things like not just how much money you want to make, but also think about the people that you want to work with. What kind of hours do you want to get? Because sometimes we will go for a job and then they will work the shit out of us and, and we'll be like, what the hell? So think about that. This is like another opportunity. You didn't get that job that you wanted, so this is an opportunity to think, to be really mindful and intentional about the kind of job that you want. So, um, so magician means take a minute and think about what it is that you want to create in this job that you're coming. Oh, you're hoping the best for you, the Tarante. I'm coming out of a three month depression episode, hoping for the best for me. You know what? I'm hoping for the best for you too. So I will tell you know what? I have some really happy cards. Uh, Literante, so I'm hoping that, that this will cheer you up and let you know that there is more out there for you. So the magician means you have the capability to do what it is that you want to, that, that you can create, you can make your life the way you want it. Oh, bippity butt. Oh, that's a good call. Less focus on just money, but also the situation. Yes, yes, because like, you know, you can you can get a, a job that will work the shit out of you with people that you don't like, but have a boss that's like an asshole. And you're like, yeah, I'm making all this money, but what kind of situation is that? Or like one of those jobs where you're working, you know, 50 hours a week and you need the weekend. You can't even enjoy your weekend because you're just you're wiped out over the weekend because they, they, they worked your ass during the week. So the situation is very important. So when you think about creating that, that next position in your life or that, that next situation, like, like, you know, again, we, we think about, I want that particular guy. Like I want that guy. So you're not really thinking about, or that woman, you might not be thinking, is that person a nice person? Is that person someone you will feel comfortable, uh, being, bringing them around your family? Um, sometimes when the relationship doesn't work out the way we want we there's other factors that we might not be thinking about so it's not just that particular person but the kind of relationship the kind of situation that we're looking for like here i mentioned here the other card that came up ten of cups ten of cups is a, is a happy relationship you know there's there's rainbows and there's you know the couple and and the kids and everything is is honky dory and happy happy this is the kind of situation we want so we're not just thinking about just the money but we're thinking about the happiness we're thinking about the situation we're thinking about you know i'm with people that i love i'm, lo I'm with people that i enjoy working with i'm in a relationship that makes me happy ten of cups takes everything into account and the world whoops the world is it's just like another full circle you might have been feeling depressed or low before, but good times are coming and you will get to be in that place that you want to be. So Literante, hopefully I, I want you to, to think about this. You know, everything is cyclical and that, and if you see like this, this is a, the symbol here at the top of the world card, it's infinity. And it's a reminder that we might have those low points, but we can come back up and we don't have to stay there. And I understand depression, you know, it's, it's often chemical and, you know, we do what we can when we're going through those hard times, but hopefully those, those hard times don't last forever. And this world card is here to remind us that last, that hard times do not always last forever. So, you know, hang in there. Uh, the Nine of Pentacles for Stefan Sexy. The new job is coming. The new job is coming. And uh, as Bippity Boppity Brujita had mentioned, the High Priestess. This means that whatever thing that you're like working on right now that's like not making sense, 
take some time and oh, you're welcome, Lutamante, you're, you are welcome. And the high priestess also reminds us that whatever knowledge that 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 question that we're working on that's like this isn't really making a lot of sense or what's going on with that situation or or even you know even you Stefan sexy like what is going on with that pizzeria job like you don't know but perhaps you know maybe there's something that will come up after, as a result of this reading when I'm saying there might be something that you didn't know about there might be there might have been something about the people there you know maybe you know month from now you'll find out that someone got fired or quit because the boss was an asshole or maybe they have like money issues and they're going to close down. I'm not wishing anything like that on, on a business, but just to say that there's always other things. And then there might be something really good, even better coming. So high priestess just wants us to remember that, you know, the, the, the secrets and power are within us. Oh, you are so welcome, Stefan. Um, we often, know more than we think we do we're like well i don't know why that didn't happen or um you know that person act a certain way or didn't do something or a situation didn't happen the way we wanted to there's often more there, there's like a lot of secrets that we will never know but then there are certain things that our intuition has an idea and said ah this is why this didn't happen maybe i needed to be more prepared or maybe i you know, or, or maybe they really were going to hire someone who is a family member. You know, there's all these different things going on. And we don't always know what those answers are. But for other things, the high priestess says, tune into your intuition and think about, okay, where you want to go next. So, all right, pizzeria place didn't work. All right, fine. What's next for you? And also, if you see she's here on her laptop, the high priestess, you know, maybe you need to do like a little research, go online and find out who's looking for something else. Maybe you need to talk to some friends because, you know... I, I learned this another time when I was looking for a job that um, it's not necessarily our friends who help us get a job, but our friends of a friend. And what they call it is like a weak link. So someone that you know, but it's not necessarily like your best friend who will get you a job, but a friend of your best friend. So it's like it's we have to open up our... Uh, our, our networks so it's not like like your bestest bestest friend of course he or she wants to help you you know get a job but they might not be the person with the connection but they might have a friend of a friend who knows so it's so a lot of times people get new jobs and new connections due to that weaker link or that the person who's not their best friend or not, someone that they don't even know that well someone you run into you know at at the coffee shop you know who you you see like every once in a while and they're like oh yeah there's this opening at this place or yeah so and so just um just left this job and they're looking for someone else and you're like oh we're really, really and it turns out that that person or well, that opening is exactly what you would be looking for so yeah you know what? i'm gonna do another reading since people are on okay i'm gonna do <sighs> judgment nine of cups page of pentacles Hmm. Ooh. Okay. So I'll, I'll go. Okay. Judgment. Judgment means coming back to life. At least in my experience, the judgment card means coming back to life. And uh, Literante was talking about coming out of a depression. So judgment. If you, it, I used to think of this as a scary card. You know, there's this angel and there are these people coming out of graves. But what I've grown to understand the more I've studied the tarot is you're coming back to life. We were asleep. We were. We were low, we were, I don't know, I wanna say we're dead, but like we, we were just in a low place. But here it is, this angel, I forget which angel this is, you're like, bah, 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 and we come back to life. So Literante, I also feel like this is you, coming back to life. So the judgment card, it's kinda of like judgment day, but it's like coming back to life, a new start, a rebirth of sorts. So if, if this, you know, if this card resonates with any of you, I definitely wanna hear about that. Nine of Cups. It's another one. This is like uh, emotions. And I love this deck because they have so many women of color represented. And I just look at this dress. She's just like sitting pretty. She's like, you know, this is this little boss babe here. You know, she's got like, I have my outfit and I have my cups. I have my cups in a row. I am happy. I am. She is happy and she is fulfilled emotionally. That Nine of Cups is like, it's like, if there's love and well you know what I already have the let's see whoops to me it's like a self-love card meaning I can do great by myself like I'm by myself 
and this isn't this doesn't mean like you're not in a couple because you could be but this means to me you are happy as you are with or without a partner you're like i am good i am straight now i've already pulled the ten of cups which is like happy family card but to me, the Nine of Cups is really important because this is just you by yourself. Like, I am happy. And you know what? It's so, it's not always easy to be happy by yourself because, you know, some, so many times we're like, well, you know, I need a, I need a partner, I need a, I need a man, I need a woman, whatever, to make my life complete. This Nine of Cups card means that you are complete by yourself. This doesn't mean that you don't want to have a partner. This just means that with or, with a, with or without a partner, you are good. So we already said the Ten of Cups. You know, Ten of Cups also means if you are in a relationship, things are going to be going really well. You're going to be hitting a nice, happy part of your life. And I suppose if you don't have kids, you might be because these represent, this, these represent you know, kids and babies and families. So if you're not trying to have a baby, you better be careful. Uh, let's see. And what's the other one? Oh, and the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles means a message is coming. So Literante still, I'm sorry, Stefan Sexy. Um, page of Pentacles means a message. When you see pages in the car, that means a message is coming, a fax, a phone call, an email, a message is coming. So if you've been putting out other, uh, other, you know, other feelers, other uh, applications, you're going to be hearing back. So you might have already been doing something and you should be hearing. So please like, let me know because I'm, I'm really curious about that. Page of Pentacles means a message is coming. Fax, email, phone call, something about a, a new job, a new opportunity because that's a coin. So it's a big coin and the page is bringing a message. So I guess I'm going to wrap this up soon, but this is fun. I'm having a great time. So let's see. We go da, 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 a lot of cups and a lot of pentacles. So I like that kind of is a positive reading. Let's see. I'll go with the major arcana cards first and then I'll break down just for anyone who's paying attention. Then I'll just remind so the first card I got from the Major Arcana was the Magician. The Magician means that you can create your, Magician card means that you can create whatever it is that you wanna create. You have the power. You are not at the mercy of, you are not at the mercy of fate. You have the, you have the power to create your reality. The Magician card reminds you of that. The High Priestess card reminds you that you have all of that knowledge, that wisdom, that intuition within you. You don't have to, you know, go and, and, and look without. The answers are within. That's how I feel about this card. This means this is intuition. And then judgment. Judgment means you're coming back to life. You are ready to begin again. You are ready to start fresh. I love the judgment card. As I said before, I used to feel that the judgment card was kind of scary looking, but you see like how they're kind of gray. It's because they're coming back to life. But look, you have the angel here who's colorful and strong and they are coming back to life. So let's see. Oh, that's so wishing you all the best. I love it. People are having a great time. Oh, and then the world, the world, things are coming full circle. This is the infinity sign and the world card reminds us that things come back around. So we have the, uh, the infinity card is actually at the bottom at the top and at the top. So the world means you have everything. This is such a positive reading. So I'm, I'm really glad I was able to, to pull these today. Let's see. And then uh, my other cards, my minor arcana cards are pentacles and cups, which I'm loving. So uh, starting with the pentacles, pentacles we have uh the knight of pentacles it means a job is coming and page of pentacles means a message of a job is coming so this is like two two reminders that new job is on the way for someone you know so if, if that's you i'm excited for you and i hope you like follow up with me and like tell me what's going on i want to hear about it page of pentacles knight of pentacles movement phone call related to a new job and then, of course, with love, this is like a self-love card with, let me see if you can see that all right. Nine of Cups means you are doing wonderful. You are doing great on your own. Self-love, looking good, looking happy. 
and not so much a, I don't need a man or I don't need a partner, but just kind of like, I'm not worrying about that right now. I am happy on my own and I am fulfilled. But of course, what usually happens if, if you've ever been in that place of, I'm really, the thing about being single, being happily single, you're not happily single for long. The thing is when you are in that place of being like really fulfilled and I'm just living my best life and I'm doing my thing, boom. That's when the Ten of Cups happens. The You don't find that new, that relationship when you're like, oh, I hate being single. Oh, I don't want to be alone. You know, like when you're in that place, you're never going to get a, a relationship because like it, it does this thing where when you're in that place, you are, you are, uh, you're, you're like psycho, like, like spiritually repelling love because when you're in that place of oh is this gonna be my boyfriend or oh I just hate dating or like when you're in that place people can feel it the people you're you're meeting you're trying to date they can feel all of that but when you're in that place of I am all that I am living my best life I don't need a, a mate in order to travel I don't need a mate to have a, a good time like I'm going out with my girlfriends or hanging out with my guys and I'm having a really good time when you are in that place of being totally happy and and single and happily single that is when you find your mate when you are happily single and as the nine of cups nine of cups is about about being happily single self-love looking good i just love this dress she's just like mm -hmm, yeah yeah but of course that never you never stay happily single for long ah spell for police protection near house i'm sorry i know that you did you sent me a dm and i haven't gotten around to it but hold on i'll get to you in a second ten of cups ten of cups as i said before once you get uh nine of cups that means um you're happily single and when you're happily single for too long, that's when people get attracted to you. That's when, um, you know, that, that's when you are able to attract that person because you're so happy. Like when you're just happily single, that's when the person comes. All right. So, um, and, and again, and, and make sure if you are in a relationship, if you're not trying to have a baby, use protection. Cause this is, this is also, you know, kids. So if you don't, if you're not trying to, you know, if you're not trying to have any kids right now, use protection because this card is also about that. It's about happy family, not just being happy with the mate, but happy, all kind of family love going on. All right. So, um, Nera H. Puas, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. So I did receive your DM. So I'm glad, um, I, I was looking that up for you actually. And, um, let's see, like fiery wall of protection is, oh, hi, John the Conqueror. There we go. If, if you're anything, if you use like roots and all, um, High John the Conqueror is a root that, uh, that is good for a lot of different things. So one simple way for police protection, um, cause I, I, I know what your situation, you had mentioned kind of your situation. Um, so if you were doing a, a spell for someone, a ritual for someone, um, I would, I would, I would look for. Uh, if you were buying something from someone else, you would look for fiery wall of protection is a good, that's a, that's a blend that you can buy other places. Um, if you have access to, uh, like a botanica where you are, ask for the high John, the conqueror root. So what you would do, you would take a candle. Like if you have like a, I don't have any candles right in front of me, but like if you had a, um, uh, like a novena candle, especially if it's like you're doing a long-term term work, like a seven-day candle, something simple you could do. You could have like the big candle. Um, let's see, for, for protection, what color would be good? Let me think. Uh, I would use black, actually, because black is repelling of negativity. Because if you're worried about, if you're concerned about police protection, that's definitely negativity. So I would, I would suggest a black candle. And put it like on a bowl or a plate. And if you could get the high John the Conqueror root, and I would like sprinkle it on there, or if you had it in a bowl, I would put the high John the Conqueror uh, around that. And then I would write a letter. I would write a petition letter saying what you want. I know what your situation is, and I'm not gonna, you know, put your business in the streets. But you know, write a letter saying, you know, this is my intention is to keep uh, to keep safe, to to protect, and. Uh, 
and you put that underneath that candle and you burn that candle until it's done. It's like, you know, seven day candle is good because that's really focused. So you could burn that for seven days or if you have to leave it, of course, you know, they say don't leave a candle unattended if you can get away with it. Because the last thing you need is to also have like, you know, a fire in your house. So uh, burn the candle with your letter of intention and, and pray on it. And if there's someone who is also with you who would be willing to pray with you, like if that person in question um, is available and, you know, and if they believe in it, because not everybody does it, but if they're willing, I would also recommend that you, uh, uh, I would also recommend that you have that person like pray with you. Oh, and I also recommend if that person uh, is, will let you, I would also recommend um, a spiritual bath. Spiritual baths are also really good for protection. So if you have a bathtub, um, you can buy stuff like, you, you can buy mixtures that are like from Botanica's have a lot of, they have things called a, so there's fiery wall of protection. You can buy blends that are uh, law keep away or court case, depending on what your situation is. So you could put, if it's pre-made, you could, you know, put it in, uh, you could put it in, a, uh, put it in the bathtub and, and have that person take a bath and uh, that would you know, that would, that would help cleanse them and put that protection on their person. So if, if they will let you, um, thank you, thank you very much. If they have, uh, if they have, so if, if they'll let you take a bath, you know, give them a bath or, you know, run them a bath and you put um, those, like the, the prepared herbs, you could do that. Um, I'm not sure offhand, I can't remember if, if you could, if, if high John the Conqueror root is good around the skin. I'm not sure, I'd have to check that out. But um, definitely do the candle. Do the candle, like a black candle, like a seven day candle. Put it on like a heat resistant plate and around the plate sprinkle um, high John the Conqueror root or if you have anything like um, uh, do, 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 like law keep away any of those prepared things that you can get from botanic you can get them online too so if you have if you know if you have the ability to buy stuff online there's look for it's called law keep away that's and, and that that contains a whole bunch of different um uh what do you call it? like herbs herbs and spices and if you buy it online they're gonna give there, there's definitely baths available and you know someone could take that bath in it you know and, and um and they will already have the uh, the roots and the plants that uh, that are safe for for skin. Like I, as I said before, I'm not sure if high John. I mean, it might be good, but you could maybe you know research that and see like if, if and if you go to a botanica, you can ask them, can I put this in a bath? But if you go to a botanica, you can also get um, you can also uh, get a prepared bath, so you don't even have to do a whole bunch of like uh, you don't have to do a whole bunch of like shopping i love botanicas because they have prepared mixes and then you can just get what you want i love botanicas just in general you know whether it's whether it's for protection spells or love spells there's always all kind of goodies that you can use whether you want to uh, oh a floor wash and, and and actually if you're going to a botanica and if you really feel like protection is something that you need i would say use all of these different things in, in different um different makeups like say so for example they will be floor washes so you can wash your you can wash down the home you can you know clean your floor you can if you have a carpet you put it in like a spray thing spray bottle and like to spray a little bit of the carpet so that also protects your home um a floor wash a bath a candle like use every single formula and i would say do it on do it regularly like a, a seven day candle takes seven days but like say if you're using um a floor wash you could do that once a week and that would help to protect um yeah you know what so that's the, okay that's another thing you do so say floor wash if you had those herbs if you're if you're not able to get that person to uh take a bath in it or you don't have to even tell them about it because there's situations where you might not want to tell the person what you're working on do a floor wash so you know you use your whatever you would usually use to clean your floor you could put the, the high John the Conqueror root in there. If you have, um, if you buy a floor wash, you can also add that to your, your, your mop water. And, um, 
yeah yeah so and basically you just use it on everything like use it on the floor use it on the t you know have someone take baths in it um oh there's also charms charms that, yeah 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 there's a uh, like like mojos like um bags like like a good luck charm so same thing if you i think it's um if you could if you have them keep like a a, a piece of the the hydra on the conqueror root with them that's also very it's a protective thing that keep, that they can wear on them so hey this is a good luck charm i got for you you know keep this with you and that would be another source of protection so it's like if you really feel like you know protection is something that you need you want to use this at all different levels all different you know and and i get and i just throw an evil eye in there just you know you know if if uh if there's something that you feel that uh, something like if, if you feel that things are going really well in your life and you feel that people might be jealous or they might be going against you, then I, I also recommend having some kind of um, uh, an, an, uh, an evil eye, evil eye in your home or wearing the jewelry. It's just as a, as a protective measure. Sometimes when people get jealous, that also sends all kind of negative energy your way. So also look, look for that. Look for, you know, uh, associates, you know, who might not be on the up and up. You know, we have friends and then we have frenemies. We have people who, who say they're our friends, but they are, they're working in other purposes. So, you know, that's to keep your friends close and your enemies closer will definitely keep an evil eye around you. Because also, like, say if you have an evil eye and, and like a necklace or something, a bracelet, and it breaks that's sort of like absorbing that evil eye. And it just also lets you know, like, oh shit, okay, something is going on. And of course, you know, you replace that thing as soon as possible. So those, those are, those are my protection things. I th hopefully that'll, you know, that'll help. I'll leave this, I'll leave this video up. So if you, um, if you want to, uh, you know, watch it again, you can, you know, you have it and, and get all my little Get my little tricks. I wasn't even planning to go all there. I I just was coming on here just to practice my uh, practice my lighting. Hmm? You got a dinner spell? Dinner spell. <laughs> you hear my husband? You got a dinner spell? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna wrap up by by doing a. Um, uh, I'm just gonna wrap up by sharing the cards that I pulled already. And, uh, and then I'll help perform a dinner, dinner spell for my husband, which would basically, he's taking me out. So I'm, I'm, that's all good. All right. So again, for anyone who hadn't heard it before, uh, this is a really positive card, a really positive pull tonight. So if you were tuning in, uh, and you were going to see these cards, I want you to know that just by luck, you, you, there's good things coming. So the magician card reminding you that you have the power to create your reality high priestess card means that you know the secrets you have the secrets within you hey simply jenny so the the so simply jenny i'm i'm pulling the cards one more time well i pulled i'm I, i've been doing a reading and i'm just wrapping up now so i'm just doing a summary of everything that came through yeah little ronte ha 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 i know yeah it's like all right well he's taking me out so i guess i'll you know I'll, I'll, uh, that, that's my dinner spell. He's taking me out. I like that. Okay. So the magician card, the magician card, you can create your reality. Can you answer me a psychic question? Uh, well, maybe let's try, try me, try me. I, I wouldn't say, Hey, my love. Um, I wouldn't say I'm necessarily a psychic, but I'm really intuitive. So ask, ask the question and I'll see what I could do while you're putting that together. I'm just going to keep on. Um, I'm just going to complete these, uh, my other cards. Oh, you are welcome, Bippity Boppity Brujita. Thank you. Hi, Priestess. You have the secrets within you. Your intuition, trust it. That laptop means, you know, also look online. There might be something you could find to answer your question by looking online. Uh, let's see. Judgment card. You're coming back to life. People going from gray, from the tombs back into color and there is the angel coming back to life so no matter what was going on with you before there is a new start happening and there is the world so also reminding that no matter what was going on with you before you might have been low but now you can go back high things come back around what goes around comes around does the guy i feel, have feel okay feel the same way about me his name is rocky okay your girl hold on uh 
your girl Demis. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. I'm gonna do a quick reading for you, but let me finish this. Okay. All right. We're gonna find out about Rocky. All right. Um, and if you take anything from these cards, maybe so. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups means being. It's, it's about self love, loving yourself, and being totally happy single because when you're happy as a single person very soon you will become happy in a couple and all that self-love it can't help but you know like when you're having a good time as a single person all of a sudden everyone's like "Ooh, what is she doing oh what is he doing oh he's looking all fine because he is in his own world he's not he's not looking for like that that relationship but the relationship always comes because when you're happy by yourself you can't help but attract someone and again this is happy family so if you are not using uh birth control you better <laughs> you better start thank you very much i'm glad thank thank you michi let's see and then um let's see page of well nine of pentacles well, i guess it this way Page of Pentacles means a message is coming regarding a new job. So someone who is looking for a new job, a message is coming very soon. And the Knight of Pentacles means it's coming. So there, a job is definitely coming. And the Page of Pentacles means that there's going to be like an email, a phone call, a fax. Someone is going to be letting you know about this new opportunity. So, and, and these are both yellow, happy optimistic card so what that means is oh, keep the faith keep the faith that that the new job is coming all right so so for demis and her and her rocky let's let's see all right da, 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 da. let me put all these cards together we'll find out about rocky do, do. getting all my cards together all right and then after that, I got to go because my husband wants to eat. <laughs> he wants to eat. That's him, by the way, playing. Rocky. Oh, he's playing the Rocky theme. <laughs> yeah, see, that's his way of saying, yeah, when's my, let's go to dinner. Um, oh, I'm so glad this lifted your spirit. And by the way, um, for those of you who don't necessarily, my, my real name is actually Carla. Marie Lazo is like, like I named it after Marie Lovo, the new, uh, the New Orleans voodoo priestess. And Lizzo, you know, because Lizzo, 100% that witch, that bitch. So, um, yeah, so let's see. Let's find out about Rocky. Rocky, 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 Rocky. All right, Rocky. Are you playing games, Rocky? What are you doing for your girl? Come on. Come on through my cards. Let me know. I have, like, these cards are so thick, and they're not the easiest for me to... To, uh, to shuffle, but I'm shuffling, I'm shuffling, I'm shuffling. <laughs> All right, Rocky, okay. All right, I'm gonna cut the cards. Here we go. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so I got the Page of Pentacles, which as I said, this is like, um, this is, this usually means like a call is coming through for a new job. So now I don't know if you work with Rocky. So do you work with Rocky? Do you guys work together at all? Is, is that, um, let me know. Do you work together? Is there some kind of work relation? If not, I'm not really sure. Or, or well, this is the thing. Let me, let me read the whole card thing for you. Because the thing is, the second card I got was the Hermit card. The Hermit card is about being alone. It's about tapping into your inner wisdom. And then the third card is temperance. So just on the surface i'm gonna say that rocky might not be the guy for you and or the person for you and i and i i'll go a little deeper in, into each card so like i said maybe the page of pentacles it might mean something like you need to focus on work because it's not this isn't really like have anything to do with relationships per se but the hermit card to me that is that's about being alone that's about time to go inward it's not about being out and see how, like how it's like it's all dark and it's black it's not a sad card it means that it's a time to go to to go inward and and to be like well you know i need to work on some stuff i need maybe i need to work on my shadows or i need to just focus on a project maybe that's related to the work thing because this is a work thing so maybe 
you need to be focused on work or you maybe need to be focusing on getting another job like maybe there's something else because sometimes it happens that we are we're focused on a relationship or we want to get a relationship but there's really it's not the right time because there's something else that is much more important in our life that we have to deal with like there was a guy I dated like years ago and uh, I, I thought he was really cool but um, he was getting evicted from his house and I, I didn't know that and he really would have been better served spending his time working on getting a job and making sure that his money situation was better but instead he was trying to wine and dine me but he wasn't paying his rent so um, so what I'm taking away from this is you need to be alone right now this this is saying that you need to work on yourself you need to work on a project there's something that you need to go inward on and this is here like this little this is like a necklace with a with a star on it and it that it represents uh, inner truth so there's an inner truth that you need to pay attention to and that might be that uh, you know that Rocky isn't you know isn't the one and uh, <laughs> thank you and temperance you know temperance also so temperance is moderation so that's the other thing if you are like overly obsessive about this person this card is also saying to chill out um, again I've been so I could tell you I've totally obsessed about guys for years the same one the wrong one I'm that's my personal experience for sure and so the moderation there's so much here like she's pouring in she's pouring liquid between two two cups like she's measuring it out she also has one foot in the water and one foot on the ground this is this is representing this is saying chill out this is talking about watch your obsession don't be obsessed about this guy so like if rocky rocky might not be the right guy for you and you know i, I hate to be that person um you know and 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 i've also learned from my own situation when we're asking ourselves does this guy like me it's often a no because when a guy likes you he will let us know guys women whatever when they want to be with us they let us know they and we cannot get rid of them like we were like uh you know what's that just try to get rid of me. just yeah see my husband's like just trying to get rid of me exactly it's like the guy before back to Carla's point about inner truth you have to ask you already know the answer it's no sis yep yep destiny mm-hmm it's true it's like there the guy that I was crazy about before I married my husband I was into him for like five years five six maybe seven years and I said you know I, 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 you know, and I did all kind of magic stuff. I'm not gonna lie. I did all kind of stuff, and I was like, this guy, he doesn't know that he's dating me, but I'm dating him, and I was trying all kinds of stuff and all kinds of stuff, and I was talking to my roommate, and like, you think he likes me? You think he likes me? And and I was, I was trying to analyze everything that he did, and I was, you know, spending all my money at the at the botanicas, getting all kinds of stuff, and I was losing weight, and I was buying clothes, and you know, you know, I was just, you know, dudes playing hard to get, and I would not take no for an answer. I was obsessed. And that was like five years out of my life, you know, but that's okay. But actually through him, I met the guy that I did marry. So temperance to me means you need to back off because it, this isn't the answer that you, you wanted. And you know, this is saying maybe there's something you need to be doing with work, but definitely you need to be working on some inner truth right now. You need to be you need to learn how to be single, you know, learn how to, to enjoy the place that you're in. And I know it's hard and it's, but I've been there. If, if I can, if, if I can share anything about my own situation is that it's, it, there's nothing wrong with going inward. There's nothing wrong with being single and learning how, what was that card I had before that nine of cups with learning how to be happily single, learning how to date yourself and, and being that, that, that person that is just so attractive because you don't need that person. But you know, when we're like, does that guy like me? Cause I asked that cause that question to my roommate all the time. I'd be like, well, he did this thing. Does that mean he likes me? You know, sometimes it could have just been like, well, he was being really nice to me that day. And, or, or he just, he's just being nice. Cause, but ultimately I felt like I was crazy in love with him, but he liked me a lot. Do you see the difference there? Like, and I could never change that. We even went to bed. We even ended up sleeping together and, and we were even monogamous for a whole year. 
but he never loved me like that. You know what I'm saying? Like he never loved me the way that I loved him. And I was doing all kinds of things to try to change that. And that's also how I learned also about, you know, love spells do work to a certain degree, but they don't create love. Love is its own magic and you can't control that. So it's like you have to not find that guy who is playing hard to get, but as my husband says, the guy who you can't get rid of. When someone is interested in you, the guy who's playing hard to get rid of, hard, the guy who's playing hard to get rid of thank you. It's, it's like, I can't get rid of him if I wanted to. And, and that means even when I gain that weight back, even when I'm having a really bad day, cause like I did a lot of like machinations in my, with that old dude to try to, to try to be like the cool girlfriend, like, yeah, it'd be really cool, you know, like not be upset about stuff. So even when he was disappointing me left and right, or I knew that he didn't love me and I knew all this stuff, but I could never tell him that because I knew that if I would have told him, oh, yeah, we are cute. And I'm like, I know that if I, if I would have told him that, well, you know, you don't love me, or I couldn't be myself with him because I knew that that's all he needed to just kind of disappear. So I was doing all kinds of things to try to be perfect and not get mad about anything. But with, you know, with my husband now, I'm gaining weight. He's, you know, he's like, hey, you are who you are. What's that? So has he. Oh, so has he. So yeah, we both gain weight, you know, and that's we'll fine. More in a few minutes. <laughs> He said, we're gonna gain more in a few minutes. Okay, that's another hint that he wants to go out for eat to eat. Anyway, so what I'm saying is, I can be myself with, with my, my partner now. You know, if I'm not, if, I, if there's something I don't like, I don't have to hide it. I don't have to pretend that everything is all right when it's not. So it's like, when we have to ask ourselves that question, does that person like me? You know, and, and I'm trying all these things to make them like me, then, the answer is usually no. So I'm sorry. I know Rocky is probably fine, or he's probably got like all of these wonderful qualities. And I, you know, Rocky. I'm not saying Rocky is a bad guy. Rocky is probably an amazing guy, but he's not the guy for you. So I'm I'm really sorry to you know to bring that bad news to you, but hopefully if you accept that, that will help you to move on to. You know, to be that nine of cups woman, that, that nine of cups woman who is totally, she's like, all right, I'm by myself. You know, I'm single, but I'm happily single. I will date myself. I will have a great time. <laughs> Bippity boppity burrito. She's like, he's probably laying pipe. And that's another thing. Can I tell you? And it, no, it is not inappropriate. No, it's perfect. And I'm and that you just brought another point up. So remember that time that I said about that guy that I was dating, the one, the one who should have been getting a job, but because he was about to get evicted. Let me tell you, that was some of that was some really good sex we were having. I'm not gonna lie. And that's the other thing. Some of the guys, some of the best sex you will have in your life will be attached to people who you shouldn't be with, people who are, who don't have a job or people who are just, who will take you through all kinds of emotional changes. But we're like, oh, but the sex is so good that we will like take all of that stuff and, and we'll put it aside. So I want to just remind, <laughs> remind you that just because someone can lay that pipe, that doesn't mean that they are the one for you. And I know, and again, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to be that person to be like, no, I don't, it doesn't look that way. But Sometimes the best sex that you will ever have in this life will be with someone who is not for you. So, you know, I'm, I'm 52 years old, so I can tell you, and, and I've experienced this several times. But now, you know, <laughs> it's true. It's true. You know, like there's something about, you know, some, some, some pipe laying fools out there that just can't. Oh, sorry. He's like, he's like, your husband's in the room. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They have nothing else to give. That is the one thing that they have. They have that one. That's like the best thing they have going for them. They don't have a job. They don't have uh, a good manners. They don't have, you know, good family life, but they can lay that pipe, you know, um, you know. <sighs> yeah, that's why. So I guess that's how the universe like balances things out. So we just have to, you know, we have to be mindful of that. So again, back to, um, to, to Rocky and I'm, and I'm sorry again, um, emotionally unavailable. Yeah. See, that was the last guy I was with emotionally unavailable and you know, the sex was okay. It was no big deal, but 
I wanted him so badly. But why? And now when you find and that's the other thing, when you do find the person that you're supposed to be with, the person that that is right for you, you will look back at Rocky or whoever and you'll be like, dang, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? And I, I think of that all the time, you know, when I started dating my husband or, or actually when he started dating me, like he was being really kind to me and being really nice. I was like, no, 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 this guy, he's going to come around any day now. Like, I, I can't really spend time with you. I can't even really think about you because this guy, you know, because I'm doing all kind of magic and stuff. He's going to come around. He's going to be like, you know, and that never happened. And so I got to tell you, I tried my best. But at some time, I realized that the guy who became my husband, he was playing hard to get rid of. He was not going to let go. He saw something that th that guy didn't see. Yeah, fool. Yeah. It, is, it is better on the other side. You're such a good example of that, Carla. Thank you very much. It's true. This or something better. And that's another thing. When you're doing magical spells or when you're doing kind of rituals, give yourself some room. Like even though you think that there's a specific person that you like, leave a little room and say this or something better this person or someone better because you don't know i never would have guessed that the guy i ended up marrying was going to be that guy because i was so focused on my rocky you know i'll call my dude i'll call him rocky like you know like my rocky i thought was like awesome now when i look at rocky i'm like well the guy my rocky i'm like what was i thinking that Rocky, he's still single. He's never been married. He's never even lived with anyone. But at the time, he was the one. <laughs> well, if you hear the, the, the thing this one is saying, he's, he's like, he's got lawn furniture in his dining room. You know what? He's, it's true. It's true. He, he's got lawn furniture in his... Yeah, and, and, it's still, and he's still living like that. Like, so don't bind yourself. You're right, bippity boppity brujita. Do not bind yourself to one specific person because you really don't know. You don't know. Like, you know that you want that person, but you don't know what's going to be on the other side of that person. You don't know what he's going to really, he or she is really going to be like. You're going to be like, I really want that person, and I don't care. I don't want someone perfect. I want that person. Not knowing that you don't really know what it's gonna be like to be in a relationship with that person until you're in that relationship. And like I said, I did finally, you know, score Rocky, you know, and we were together for a whole year, but he never loved me, you know? I was just convenient and I was willing to, to you know, say whatever it took to make him happy, do whatever it took to make him happy, and I'm t I was tired, I was tired, you know? So by the time, you know, my, my guy now came around, it, I didn't have to work hard. I was like, oh my God, this is so easy. And that's the other thing. You shouldn't have to wonder, does this guy like me? Is this guy interested? Because the guy for you, the woman for you, the person for you will let you know. They will show you in their actions. They will shout it from the top of the Empire State Building. They will share, they will show how they feel about you. You should never have to guess. If you have to guess, the answer is no. So. You know, yeah, they'll put it all over Facebook. They'll be telling all their friends, telling all your friends, telling their mom, yeah, I'm going to marry her, you know, and, and that's just what people do. When you know how it is when you like somebody, when you're like, yeah, I want to do all the good things. I, I want to, I might want to cook for them. I might want to do these things that I never want to do for anybody else. But you're going to do that because you care about that person. Flies to... <laughs> She's like, flies to New York City, waits for somebody to yell that. Yeah, girl, I hear you. Oh, my goodness. This is like 154 remaining. So this live is really going to end soon. I can't believe I actually took this whole hour, and I really wasn't planning to. Uh, oh, then she then returns to Cali because she has no prospect. Hmm, don't you worry. There's someone there for you. You just haven't met them yet. You know, they'll be yelling on top of some other kind of building or something. But... I, I believe that there is a lid for every pot. So that means we can't be focused on one particular person because, I mean, we can, we can, but leave that room for this or someone better because there might be someone better and you don't even know. And, you know, just a thought. So anyway, this thing is going to cut off and, oh, I'm glad. I'm glad you like that, Bippity Boppity Bujita, which I just love your IG feed, your, your name, by the way. Bippity Boppity Bujita, poof. You know, anyway, so it's, I got a minute, so I gotta, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap up, 
but I, I'm going to leave this, uh, leave up this live. So if anyone wants to watch it again and get uh, any tips, because um, the card readings were overall very positive. Yes, there was a lid for every pot something my grandmother said and so it's just you got to find out and and there's more than one that's the other thing i don't believe in there's one the one there are several so you just have to keep yourself open open to the possibilities okay i have less than 30 seconds um you're welcome you are so welcome so um have a great evening and i'll leave this this up if anyone wants to see it again and this is carla from marie lazo by literante you are so welcome you y'all have a great night yeah i am preaching tonight um but i'll be back up soon all right love you all bye bye <laughs> yes <laughs>